What's going on, guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. So great news, great, great news that I'll share here in a little bit as people start to roll in, um, kind of a sudden live stream. I wasn't really planning on doing much today, but I finally got the last versions of the Aventus in yesterday, and it uh, ended up rocking them. So as people roll in, I'll let you guys know the good news. Anyway, today we're going to be doing some unboxings of the fragrances that you see on the thumbnail. So we're going to be looking at Eternal Coffee from, this is from Paris Corner. We're going to be looking at Qissa, which means story from Paris Corner. And interestingly enough, I have a niche brand from Kuwait uh, named Qissa up there. Those cylindrical bottles are called Qissa. So curious to see what this is all about. What's going on chat? Good to see you. How you doing, man? Joe, sugar dude, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? And then the last one we're going to look at is the other one that's in the similar bottle, and it's called Meadows. So curious and interested to see what they're doing. So the good news is, is that the uh, Efrain, what's going on, man? Good to see you. The Creed Aventus Clone War has officially been filmed. It's done. So... There is a very clear winner, an extremely clear winner. But I've done I've done more than just claim a winner. I've separated it into two categories, or actually three categories. We have a fruity batch. <clears throat> so total, I ended up with like 12 or 15, 12, 12 dupes. I only included about nine. The other ones weren't even worth mentioning. I separated them into a fruity batch and a smoky batch. So there's gonna be the best of smoky batches. They're gonna be there's gonna be the best of fruity batches, and then we have the overall winner so there is an overall descriptive and definitive winner of the creed aventus clone war so i'll be working on that very soon you're likely to see the full review for the newest batch of creed aventus first just so that we can have something or a platform to see how it compares to that one but i will tell you guys right now that any one of these dupes will outperform this thing if it didn't cost so much money and people in africa weren't starving i'd smash this because that's how i feel about it <clears throat> two and a half hours the king is dead, officially. But anyways, still grateful that I have it. It's kind of a conversation starter more than anything, really, at this point. This is still essential, I think, in my collection because of that fact, the conversation starting factors. So still a history-making fragrance and a great one. Good to see you guys. Hi from England. Hello back. Eternal Meadow, let's go. I'm excited to see what that's all about. Sheena, how you doing? Um, Hope you all are having a blessed Sunday. I know Sunday is... Sunday is a, is a blessed day, right? I bought Womo Signature, but I didn't smell no coffee. Yeah, Womo Signature, you're talking about the black one. That's more leather than anything. All right, so we're going to get into these three fragrances. All I ask is that we try and stay on to topic for these three fragrances. I picked these up from aromaconcepts.com, and I did get my order. A lot of people are having mixed experiences. I didn't have any problem with this one. I think uh, the Meadows, it was about $40, and uh, I you can use my code Aromatics10 and you get 10% off. So the one thing that I did say is that it did take about four days before it shipped for business days, which for me really wasn't the worst thing in the world because I have a couple of other things. But anyway, I've never had a problem. Juan de la Cruz, good morning to you too, brother. How you doing, Paul? Good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. Um, testing out autobiography, Supreme Cold. The autobiography is really nice. The leather is great too. I get a mix of like African leather in there and ombre leather. It's it's pretty nice. Jamie Banks, what's going on? Of course, I'm going to say hi. As long as I see it, I say it. <laughs> I put it up. Good to see you. I'm glad you could make it. Glad you could make it. Adam, Adam, pleasure having you here. Have I tried any of the Penelligan dupes from Fragrance World yet? Um, the Blazing Sam, I believe I have. They're great, honestly. Mohra from Latafa is also a good one. Until I can get those, I don't really know. Um, exactly. So I'm just speaking off of memory. So my answer, it would rather be no. Um, French coffee by El Rehab smells like cappuccino with vanilla. El Rehab slaps some, some fragrances out, man. But the only problem sometimes is being able to find it really. All right. So let's go ahead and start with this first one. My mouth is watering just looking at it because there are some lactonic notes in here. And I love my lactose, even though I shouldn't have it. But it's always a good day when you drink milk and you're not supposed to. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Here we go. Eternal Coffee, EDP. It's priced pretty well, if you ask me, honestly. $37. I don't know where else you can pick it up from. Do your own shopping. That's fine. Anyway, coffee, milk, caramel. 
And then we've got coconut heliotrope. So creamy, creamy coffee is what I'm seeing with this one. Very interesting. I'm I'm loving the fact that they're going in the realm of this type of stuff. I would love to see them do like a pistachio next. I would love to see them do pistachio next. Wink, wink, Paris corner. <laughs> but anyway, Ben Diesel, good to see you, man. Oh, yeah. Hunter Killer Swad, buy arm off all day, all day. What's up, Neeb? Shout out from Singapore. Afnan Orient. Oh, yeah. Great one. Speaking of you guys, if you don't know, my fragrance is back in stock on, um, what's the website called? Sphinxfragrances.com. You can use my code if 149 is too much, which is perfectly fine. It's a niche niche DNA. You'll see the quality when you spray it on. Uh, it's an original, obviously. It's coconut, lemon, lime, sugar, and rum vibes. It'll transport you to your favorite island for sure. I'm going on vacation soon, and I'm taking my fragrance with me. And it's called this bad boy right here. It's called Coconut Daiquiri. Coconut Daiquiri with K's. So let's see if I can get the sticker in. There it is. Coconut Daiquiri through Sphinx. You can get 15% off. So it comes out to around $111 or something like that with shipping and all that stuff. And we do worldwide shipping, but obviously it's going to cost a little bit depending on it. <clears throat> all right. So let's go. Here we go. Bottle. Very nice bottle. Matte finish. Ooh, wood grain cap. They took this out of my bends that I don't have. Look at that. That wood grain. Okay. I see you. Oh, it's very light. Anyway, I see you Paris Corner regardless. Here we go. Not bad. Here we go, man. Oh, oh, that's strong. Oh, damn. Holy smokes, that's strong. This smells like coffee creamer first. Wow, that is sweet as hell. Oh, my God. Sickly. Oh, that's that's too sweet for me. This is feminine. This is feminine for sure. Holy smokes. It smells like caramel creamer or not even the creamer, the pumps. You know, the pumps that you put in your, your coffee. It smells like a couple pumps of coconut caramel. Holy smokes, that's too sweet for me. <laughs> smells great, though. Very strong. If you wear this in the summertime, you will kill people with this. This should have came with warning sign. Wow. Okay, vanilla, caramel, coconut overdose, and coffee. Holy smokes, that's strong. That's too much for me. That's too much for me. If you like coffee, milky, uh, literally smells like a coffee that's been drowned in uh, coconut creamer with pumps of caramel. That's what it smells like. So it's like, would you like coffee with your creamer? That's what it smells like. So it's not coffee first. What are you doing? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. So yeah, that's what I think about this one. Holy smokes, it's strong as hell, though, guys. It's out of stock. It's out of stock, though. But I'm sure they'll restock it soon. Okay. All right, that's what I have to say about that one. The opening, super damn strong. I mean, I want to say it's unisex, but it's really, really strong. It smells like the pump quality stuff because you can tell that it's not like the most natural smelling caramel. It smells like the artificial pumped caramel. Very realistic, I guess, but not so much coffee centric, more of the creamer centric. For the price, I'm surprised. 37 for how strong it is. Anyway, that's what I think about the opening. Roja Oceania. That's awesome. Hello from Katie, Texas again. Hey, what's up, man? Love the bottle. Very nice. I'm going to be going to Ocean City, Maryland. The best boardwalk, in my opinion, compared or er, uh, also Virginia Beach has a great boardwalk, but Boticario Coffee Perfume Men. Okay, good suggestion. Jay, what's happening, man? All right. Yeah, man. I wish they dosed the coffee a little bit more, but still, I mean, holy smokes. Please hit those likes, my people. Listen, I took a day off to come and do this, y'all. Hit those likes, man. What's up, Nikhil? Love this guy. All right. Let's keep it moving. Let me see something really quick, y'all. Need to do something really... All right, next fragrance we're going to go into is going to be called, Jay, hold that question for just a second. I'll address that near the end. I really want to know what this is duping. 
really want to know. I just want to know more so if it's a dupe of those Middle Eastern fragrances for $37. Here we go. So Gisla looks very similar. Ben Diesel picked up off. It's really strong, dude. Really strong. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Okay. And then the notes, mix of things. I don't really, I don't know, but here we go. I just more so, I'm more curious to see if it's duping those than I am curious to see what it's duping in general. So let's see. <clears throat> Here we go. Wow, this is fresh. Ooh, this is really nice. I don't think it's duping any of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Holy smokes. I don't think it's duping any of those. This smells really fresh and really nice. There's ginger, some citruses. I'm getting the lemon. Very nice. This is a bright citric, lemon, orange, sweet. Zingy, very zingy. All right, now I got to find out. What's going on, Mohammed Majid? I'm from Saudi and I like your videos. Recommend me some perfume websites. Habibi, ahla wa sahla. I'm not too familiar with websites in Saudi, bro. I'm sorry, man. I would have loved to, but... But let me stay on topic just for a hot second, you guys. So I can figure out what this is duping really quick. So we're looking at the notes. And I want to go. <clears throat> Could this be something from Aqua de Parma? Because it, it seems like it has that. Freshy, incensey, clearly sweet orange. No, we'll go with Jasmine. It smells familiar. Be, could this be their take on Blue Day Chanel? Like a sweeter Blue Day Chanel. Saffron, I feel like, is what gives it the edge. I'm liking it more. Because I really think that this is like a twist. Not truly Blue Day Chanel, though. Hold the phone. Could this be? No way. There's no way it's going to be. No, it's not. This is like, oh, this is going to kill me until I figure it out. So we're talking about Qisla. It's got some Blue de Chanel vibes. It's got a Blue de Chanel quality. It's blue shower jelly, but it has more zing. It has more of like a crunchy sugar crystal vibe like you can just crunch it and that, I usually get that from the uh I usually get that either from geranium and or ginger mixed with maybe sage but this one doesn't have it has the ginger so ginger lemon what am I smelling here man I'm gonna say blue day chanel twist for right now it smells really nice it's on the tip of my tongue. I know what this is duping. I'll figure it out. I'll visit this. It's very nice. This is a very nice freshie. A lot of contrasts. A lot of contrasts. This honestly might just be Blue de Chanel Parfum. Honestly. Because it has that, the freshie, the blue vibes, plus the incense. <sighs> wow. Okay. This might have easily become my favorite freshie from Paris Corner. Freshie. Because it's really nice. It's got, it's not just straight up blue vibes. It's got the blue. It's got the lemon. It's got the sweetness. It's got leather. It's got incense. There's a multitude of, of, of rides with this one. This is great. This is great. This is great. It's going to kill me until I find out what it's duping, you guys. It is so good. I'm going to say Blue de Chanel. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm going to leave it for now. I got to do my homework, y'all. 
you know, sometimes I'm able to come here live and, and that's why there's a lot of pressure when you do live first impressions. It's a whole different game, you guys. People see you, they watch you. You have to be comfortable being in your own zone. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm being transparent as, as F and I'm just showing you guys the process. That's genuinely the process. So I, I thought I knew what it was, but it's so damn good. It is what it is. Wael, what's happening, baby? For me, Qassa is really a dupe. Is really a dupe, more like an attempt to be original. Isn't really a dupe. I kind of think similar, but I've smelled this before, man. I've smelled this before. I think that this might be a dupe of something extremely high end or higher end or just a twist on Blue Day Chanel Parfum. I'll figure it out. I'll definitely figure it out. Fragrance and Fashion with Ron Johnson. I appreciate you, brother. Albeta Dimashqi is another uh, brand that isn't really available in the States. I have interest in getting their fragrances. I've even reached out to them to see if it's available for me to purchase, but they never reached back out. So it is what it is. Finally bought Wafat today. Can't wait to smell it and let it sit for the winter. I can't either, bro. It's a great one for the price. What's up, Sense of Sense? As far as the notes go, let's see. Looks like Magatir Nabil. Ooh, interesting that you say that. So I'm going to be opening that next then. We're going to have to open some of those Nabils soon. Speaking of Magatir, let me show you guys the best price for that fragrance. Well, we'll get to that in the end. We'll get to that in the end, okay? Let's move on to the next one, and then I'll show you guys where I think you can pick up those Nabil fragrances, the best prices. Uh, next one is going to be Meadows. <laughs> Paul, Bearer. Paul Bearer wants a dupe for my fragrance. As soon as I find one, I got you, bro. I swear to God, if I find one, I got you. Or if somebody makes one. That's hilarious. I cannot wait to start editing that. Well, I can wait because I hate editing. It's it's such a pain, you guys. But the event is Clone Wars. Ready? Looking forward to it, man. Here we go. Meadows. El Teniso, I saw your question, but let's ask it again nearing the end for those that are watching it live, brother. Meadows, here we go. So let's see what's going on. We've got Fougere Accord, which is likely to be a number of things. It could be lavender. It could be fur. It could be anything that classifies a fragrance as a Fougere, which includes those two notes that I said, sometimes oak moss as well. So Fougere Accord is, is probably just another word for what they said again, which is lavender, which is lavender. Uh, cedarwood leaves, okay. Cedarwood oriental cord, which could be many things. It could be vanilla, which is, that's another double, double. Vanilla is oriental. Um, spices can sometimes be considered oriental, depending on what it is, unless they use something else. Uh, there's patchouli, cool, lavender, another base of lavender, okay. This is going to be a very meadowy fragrance. This is going to be a woody, air, uh, woody fougere. With dry amber. So let's see. What is this fragrance supposed to do? Symphony of aromatic notes that transport you to a vast full of meadows. Blend of fresh fougere, oriental richness, and serene lavender. So it sounds good to me, as long as they balanced not too much fougere. So let's see. I mean, oriental fragrances have been some of the most successful ones. Just look at an Armani Code. Profumo, uh, things of that nature. Spice Bomb Extreme. These are Oriental Spicy, Oriental Leather. Let's see. Speaking of, it smells like one of those. Hold up. Armani Code Profumo? What? What? <laughs> what? Hang on, guys. No, 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 not Armani Co Perfumo. Hold on. Ultramall? Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. This is Ultramall. <laughs> this is Ultramall. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It smells great. <laughs> this is I love it, man. This is funny. You guys are gonna like this one. This is great. This is great. This is great. Uh, this is Ultra Mall. Here we go. So we've got Meadows on one strip, and we've got Edo Edos, and we've got Ultra Mall. <laughs> this is funny, man. Here we go. Here we go. 
Ultra Mall. Oh my God, it's Ultra Mall. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's a great fragrance, but it's Ultra Mall for $37. I understand why they did it. It's such a successful DNA. It's a lavender oriental fragrance. This is great. It's an Ultra Mall twist. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love you, Paris Corner. I really do. This is a great fragrance. It really is. I have to find out what the other one is now. I have to find out. Um, it's a very smooth. It's very, very smooth. Very smooth. Surprisingly close. A little bit of a twist, but surprisingly close. Uh, $4.99 Super Chat from Caden. God bless you, brother. I hope it comes back tenfold. Uh, Y'all remember when Subway... I swear to God, this, this is my exact same thought every single day. I pass by Subway and I say, I said bye to you guys when you stopped saying $5 footlongs. <laughs> I'm not cheap, okay? It's a concept. Um, that is funny. That is funny. I've got to figure out what this is duping. Wait a minute. Is this Bergamot 22 by Le Labo? I'm starting to get a little bit of a pedigree type of vibe in here. Let's see. You know what? Maybe I should just just tell you guys what they smell like instead of what they're duping. Because this one smells great. Uh, Meadows smells fantastic. Um, personally, it's very strong off the top. It is very strong, you guys. And it doesn't have a cheap vibe to it whatsoever. Um, I would put this, because <clears throat> I know I'm going to get asked this, rightfully so. I would definitely put this in the same similar quality as 9 p.m. I would put this in a similar quality as 9 p.m. If I'm being honest, it's stronger off off the strip than the original. And uh, there's been rumors of reformulations from uh, what's it called? 9 p.m. Now there is another fragrance. Meadows. So this has got to be a clone war because I've got about four of them. I'm sorry, you guys. I would love to give you guys longevity of Meadows, but I don't have it. I think that this is going to be worth. I'm wearing this today. I'm going to wear this today and I'm going to. This is how I spray it. Okay. So when I give you my report, deep sprayed it 35 times. Yeah. That's how much I sprayed it. If you want the same longevity, you do the same. Okay. I'm going to work out, but the atomizer is a little poopy. So damn, that's strong. It smells great. So that was about what? 14 sprays, 13 sprays. I'm going to test this bad boy out. We're done with the Aventus Clone War. Thank God. I can wear what I want to wear. And you know what's funny is I'm probably going to, well, I shouldn't. I was going to make a reel out of this of me spraying it because it was, it is what it is, but it's all good. So initial sprays, this fragrance is likely to get stronger as the days go by that it sits. So this test is going to be worthy of performance factor or performance report. So whatever I report, it's likely to get stronger. So far, you guys, the opening is fantastic, smooth, balanced. It's great. It's not this one. It's definitely Ultra Mall. So, yeah, I agree, man. I agree. So, sorry if I didn't catch your chats, y'all. About Fragrance World Exchange, is it better? I can't really say off the top, but the Fragrance World one is great, too. Medium, hey, good to see you. Good to have you here. OCD AF, for sure. Performs better? I don't know yet, Carmen. You know someone is a Muslim when he says, I hope it comes back tenfold. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people as well. Uh, Universal. Yeah, I mean, it's tradition. Yeah. Miles, the new batches of 9 p.m. are so weak to me. Then, dude, don't even bother with it then. The way that Ultra Mall clones are coming is screaming for clones. It's a, yeah, it's it said it. That's it. It's happening for sure. I really think it is a beast. Victorioso legend. How's the longevity? I get eight minimum eight hours. Minimum. And the projection is where that one wins. Hat sprays are essential. No hair sprays, though. I don't spray it on hair. The alcohol. Love it, man. Saruti 1881. Let's see. Very possible. Saruti. Mm, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. It smells fantastic. It's a nice citrus floral fragrance. This is one that I might just take an L on and let somebody else figure out. It All I know is it smells great. It smells great. Very unisex, by the way. 
Some might deem this slightly femme, but no, I think it's very unisex. But the Saruti, I, doesn't, I don't think it has incense, nor does it have leather. And it does not, actually. So Eternal Meadows, Ultramol. Smells great. Smells great. A little bit heavier on the vanilla. A little bit heavier on the vanilla. Which takes it away from being overly synthetic. Either heavier on the vanilla or heavier on the peppers or spice, whatever spice it is. But still a, a clear, a clear inspiration or twist, I should say. So it's great. Brian, it's good to see you live, man. Anything I'm testing right now good for the summer? Right now, this is great for the summer. The Qisla, I think it deserves much more live, love than it gets. Coffee is sold out. I think Qisla should have been sold out, genuinely. It's beautiful. This reminds me of... Similar vibes of like Baldi Afrique. Hang on. This reminds me of Baldi Afrique, but stronger. Hang on, hang on. Let's see. Because I started thinking Anishio Musk therapy, those vibes, y'all, those vibes. Um, Baldi Afrique, Musk therapy, things like that. I think we just figured it out, actually. I think we did. Um, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Meadows. Meadows Aroma Concepts. Not Meadows. This, uh, this is stronger than the other one that they have. Mirror. Vetiver Delight or whatever it's called. Here we go. This, uh, let me take you guys with me so you're not alienated. This is what we're doing. All right, so we're going to compare this now with Baldia Freak. There are quite a few differences. I have that fragrance. I have Baldia Freak in a sample. I'm sure you guys would appreciate if I go and grab it, even if I have to step off a of camera for a second. So let me go do that. Let me go do that. I think it's worth it instead of me making a whole nother video. You guys can see it here first. I'm thinking Baldia Freak. I mean, if we look at the notes, let's first look at the notes together. There's quite a few differences. So it, the Qisla says fresh citrus, bergamot lemon. Okay. So we got bergamot lemon, but there isn't any leather or, or incense, but it could just be their twist on it. And then there's the orange flower. There is a sweet orange floral jasmine. There's a jasmine. Um, but then there's no ginger. And then the base lacks saffron. Could this be a blend? Could this be a blend of those two fragrances? Could this be Baldia Freak blended with? What's the other one? It's called, um, it's the other dupe that they're doing. It's uh, spicy something. Uh, what is this fragrance called? Mojave Ghost? No. Black Saffron. I think this is a blend, you guys, of both. This is... I think this might be a blend of both, you guys. I genuinely think this might be a blend of both because we're getting the la leather and saffron. I'm thinking both fragrances right now. I'm getting leather, I'm getting saffron. I'm getting everything that I get with, with uh, black saffron, but then I'm also getting everything that I get with Baldia Freak. But it's a beautiful combination. I think this is a blend. I really believe that this is a blend of both. So on that note, let me go grab the this one, Baldia Freak, and I'll be right back. I have the dupe of the Black Saffron, so I'll probably grab both and mix them. One second. All right, my apologies, guys. Was not expected. 
But I got the sample of Baldia Freak. And I also got the Black Saffron, which is Vibrant Sensual Saffron. So here we go. Let's spray. Let me see, where is it? It's right here. So I'm going to spray Baldia Freak first. And this isn't definitive, okay? It's not a definitive, but I'm trying to figure it out. So it is what it is. So here we go. This is Byredo's Black, or not Black Saffron. What is it called? You know, Baldia Freak. There we go. All right. It's not going to pick it up, but it's okay. So let me sniff the original, which is show you guys what we're what we're looking at. We're looking at Qassa. Here we go. Original. Qassa. Smells very nice. Baldia Freak. So clearly some differences for sure. The saffron, the spiciness. Similar family of fragrance, but some differences. I'm going to take now the dupe of the other one, black saffron, and spray it over it. And I want a fresh spray of Baldia Freak. So here we go, and we'll compare that. I'm just going out on a whim here, guys, okay? Let me put some more freshness. Here we go. Let me take that comment down. What's going on, RXL? Good to see you. Appreciate that, man. You got coconut daiquiri. It's got to be the best summer frag this year. Appreciate that, man. All right, so we've got Lesla here and Baldia Freak mixed with um, black saffron. Eh, a little bit different. Eh, I tried. I tried. I'll figure it out eventually, but that's going to take more time for sure. No OCD on camera. That was the, all the OCD you guys get. But yeah, it takes a lot of work, at least. So let's put that away. But similar vibes. It smells really nice. So let's go into the dry down for the last fragrances. And I'm going to connect with you guys, answer some questions, and wrap this bad boy up. So Eternal Coffee by Paris Corner. Still extremely sweet. This smells like a, uh, I don't, I kind of want to say a sugar free version of creamer or not creamer flavoring, like pumps of caramel in a uh, coffee and cream. That's what it smells like. More cream than coffee. Very sweet, very sweet. And for that reason, I find this one to be a little bit more feminine. The quality wise, though, it's extremely dense. It's not going to be for everybody, though. You really have to like sweet, extremely sweet fragrances. For me, I don't think I can wear this one, but it smells nice. Let's go into the next one. Qassa. I love this. I really do. I love this. Let's see. Nope, that's the mix. Oh, yeah. This smells really nice. It smells like in that similar family or category of fragrances, but it has that added ginger. It has that leather. Very nice. Very floral, citrusy, bright, unisex for sure. This is a 10 out of 10 for me as a summer fragrance, which it's hard. It's hard to be a 10 out of 10 for me. And now we're going to go into Meadows. It's Ultramall. Meadows is Ultramall, and it's a great Ultramall for sure. So let's do a little side-by-side -side percentage giving. This is so close. To the point where when I when I go from one tester to another and the original is on one, the, the dupe is on the other, whichever one disappears, it's usually because like my brain is like, stop, or you're smelling the same thing. But the Ultra Mall is barely even there anymore. And Meadows is still there and it's strong. This is extremely close, about 90% of a, a inspiration of great fragrance. That's for what it's doing, it's a 10 for sure. A very good quality coming from Paris Corner. Excellent fragrances. Very nice. My favorite of them all, this, genuinely. I want to wear this, but it is what it is. The one thing I will say is it's not screaming off of me. I could smell it, but it's not screaming. But I can smell it. So, yeah. I can smell it with wafts. So I think this is going to be arm's reach for now. For now. So as I walk, I'm about to go to the gym, do all that good stuff, and it's going to be, it's going to be, it is what it is. Anyway, it's awesome juice. I got a dupe from Fragrance World coming in tomorrow. We need Luxador to deliver to Europe. I agree. Luxador needs to start pumping out some juices and supply to the world because they have some great oils. They do their own. Mocha Wood, I have it, but I haven't opened it yet. I remember not being a fan of it the first time. 
1 million Privé Elixir. Wait, 1 million, oh, 1 million Elixir. Uh, not quite, but if you try Afnan's Ornament, you'll dig that one because it's in a similar family. Let's see if we can find Ornament somewhere. So there's on Fragrance Net. Where else? This fragrance right here for men, obviously. For men. And what I'll do is at the end of the live, I'll create some links for some of the fragrances that if people want to know where to get it from. And we'll go from there. It's back day, man. It's back day. Is it redundant to buy Guerlain EDP if you buy Hunter Killer? Yes. Uh, Guerlain Ideal Extreme is the better one, but Guerlain Lome Ideal, the regular, it's not redundant. It's a little bit different, actually. But I wouldn't even, I mean, Hunter Killer kills it. Kills it, bro. What's going on, Bo? Victorioso? It's awesome, man. How's the performance for you? Somebody was asking about that. Might buy it for myself. You're going to feel like you got the same fragrance, though, man. Pretty close, man. Um, versus Porom, I would say don't do it because the quality, something on it just gets rubbery. The opening was fantastic, and then later on, no. So I would say no, bro. You know, I feel really bad about this one because the Alp uh, Alurum Sport, the Alpine Sport, I wore it couple times it was weak and I gave it away. And now that I want to do an Allurome Sport comparisons, I need to get it again. So it's been some time. It smelled good, but it just didn't last that long. How much do I bench? I don't really max too often, but if I really want to max, last time I max was 395. Can you recommend some Oud Rose combos? I like Sharaf Oud quite a lot. Um, You know what? Let's see. Let's see. Oud Rose, unisex. If you're looking for like cheapy, if you're looking for expensive, go with Rosewood from Arabian Oud. But if you're looking for cheapy, um, by the end, uh, I don't really see any. I usually function better when I just see it. I'm like, oh, yeah, this one. So that's nothing new, really. Wow. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what to say. They don't have anything that reminds me of Rose Oud. Trial Sheila. What's going on, Tiger? YDP or Sidrat Boise Intense? Sidrat Boise Intense, more unique. Um, definitely more unique. Socrat, Aqua de Joe Profimo. Twist, more so than anything. What's up, Terry? Barbados, beautiful. That's awesome, man. I hope you're enjoying all of them. Um, Risala, okay, some, some, some dupes of Risala would be... Let's see. It would be, what is it called? Sabhawaud. Sabhawaud is a good one. I'll show you really quick. For Risala, Sabhawaud. But a better one is Sharaf Oud Gold. This bad boy right here. This right here. And if you want to pick this up, if you wait till the end of the video, I can create a link and you can help support your boy because I'll get kicked back and it won't cost anything extra. So I'll create a link for this fragrance as well. That's like the best way you help support your boy. So $24.99 on Joma Shop, $26. I think the cheapest is eBay. Hold on. Hold the phone. But where is it coming from? Cyber Grocery, so it's up to you. This guy is selling it for nineteen nineteen. How much is he charging for shipping? Free shipping. 
97.1%. I honestly, I probably would say screw it and get it, but up to you. Regardless, I'll make that link. Um, Fakar Gold. Is it duping Ultramall Elixir? I haven't got it yet, man. It's supposed to be coming in tomorrow. It better come in tomorrow, man. 499 Super Chat. El Quintero, you're one of the best supporters, man. I love you, dude. Uh, what are your top three? But just for the record, I appreciate you regardless. What are your top three gourmand fragrances? I'm trying to get into the gourmand side. <clears throat> I do love my gourmands. For whatever reason, I find... So the thing with the gourmands, although I love it, it's hard to wear. If you like chocolate, Cacao Dreams from Alexandra Fragrances is a great Tootsie Roll smelling fragrance. That's one. Uh, another fragrance that's a good gourmand smelling fragrance, let me think. Cafe de Dua from the Dua brand. Probably the best coffee fragrance that I've smelled. Genuinely, genuinely gourmand. And for me, for whatever reason, I find a gourmand quality in Black Phantom by Killian. I really do. That dark chocolate, I get it. But it's way, way more niche, like complex. It's not for everybody. But Dark Night by Alexandra Fragrances has the best inspired by version of it. Definitely the closest. Um, as of now. I mean the actual Risale Arabian Oud, the OG. Yeah, that's that's a dupe of it. It's a clone. These are clones. What are your options? Oh, what is my opinion? Opinion. I love it, man. It's uh, unisex. Slightly more feminine, but it's unisex. It's pretty good. It smells like uh, chocolate, a lot of zafaran. Pretty, pretty sparkly sharp. Borderline metallic. Borderline metallic. Very strong and oud. Very, very strong. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I want something that close to Ideal EDP because I tested it and it's, oh, never, I never tried the extreme. Well, if you have the Armoff Hunter Killer, that is the extreme. And um, yeah. And if you want the EDP, I would say just go for it. Nothing is like the original for sure. I mean, Armoff Hunter Killer is amazing. It blows extreme. That's one of those cases where it blows extreme out of the water. But if you want the original EDP, you get the original EDP. If you like it that much, I always say go for the original. If it's something you want to test or you want to add to your collection or whatever, that's when I'll say, okay, dupe it up. Invictus Aqua. Yes, Hayati. Latafas Hayati. It's great. Victorioso. I know, right? Victorioso Legend smells better for me than the original. Interesting. Okay. Yes, it's a good alternative. It's solid. About six with six. Oh, okay. I get more than that. With eight. Whoa, with eight sprays. Well, yeah, I spray 14. <laughs> if it's below 20, that's what's up, man. Latafa Nebras is a cake fragrance. Vanilla cake, for sure. Buttercream frosting. Kahila Platinum, Lebo. You smell good, man. Cute dog. Very cute dog. That's, oh. That's my weak spot, man. Just get the Sharaf. Yes, dude. Do they still have it on Joma Shop? This is the best deal if they still have it, dude. Oh my God, they still have it. So after this, I'm going to make a link for the Sharaf. You get three of them. You get all of them and they're full size for $37.99. You can't, I mean, like I said, you get one for um for about 25 this is the cheapest place 1919 but for 38 bucks you get all three that's a steal so i'll do that and i'll post that afterwards but anyway cafe de dua is so good kaden it's like uh, i mean i don't care if you dislike dua you like dua aside from the fact as a scent i'm a reviewer i'm going to review the scent that is one of the most realistic Interesting. I'm going to bring that up, Ahmed. I will definitely bring that up. Coach for men, clone. No, but it's relatively cheap. Even if there was a clone, it's about $35 on discounters. Unless you live in the East, a lot of people say, I don't understand why they do cheap fragrances. Well, sometimes in the East, they don't even have those fragrances. And although we have coach men here for 35 over there, it's still like $120. So I get it. I definitely get it. Warrior drugged by Amir when it was cold in the UK. Oh, yeah, that's a great coffee. Killian intoxicated, right? Yes. 
cough syrup, it can. If your nose picks that up, I'm sorry, dude. But yeah, the cherry almond vibes can do that sometimes. Can definitely do that sometimes. And that's even the case with the original, bro. That's the case with the original. Gnarly Blitz. Hello, Neve. I just started to love frags. I got Perry Ellis 360 Red. Great fragrance. How ass it'll saucy enough not 9 p.m. Could you recommend something that is good for cold weather formal occasions? Okay. Cold weather formal occasions. Oh, you already have 9 p.m. Honestly, if you want to go more Middle Eastern and you really want to just like, well, see, you just started to like fragrances. So probably not. Man, I got to go into my mental directory. Go with something like Ahlamak. This fragrance right here. Oh, uh, wait, no, this isn't it. Where is it? Where is it sold? You can get it on El Rashad. And this is basically this right here, Armani Code Profumo. So yeah, for colder weather, formal occasions, it's got leather, tonka bean, sweet. It's it's pretty good. So $24.95 and then what's the shipping like? Where is the shipping from? I believe it's in the United States. But nevertheless, go with this fragrance. You'll be pretty happy with it. And you have a better day. Yes, I started. I got to start getting getting ready to get out of here as well. So I got that deal and I was happy. Yeah, man. $37.99. That's crazy. <laughs> Ajmal vibe. Okay. God bless you all, Quintero. Seriously, man. Thank you, brother. Love your channel. Love you, dude. Keep doing what you do. As a last request, before I go, what are your top three? Are moth. Besides intense, yeah, no, I'm not going to recommend that. Hunter Killer, easily Hunter Killer. Um, Armoff, really don't have that many that I like from Armoff, honestly. I've got plenty of them that need to be unboxed. Hunter Killer is definitely a love for me. Hunter Jungle is really not bad. It really is not bad. It's cardamom, it's tobacco, it's Oud Malaki. But the thing is, is that I already have better, in my opinion. And then if I had to pick one more Armoff, I would probably go with Odyssey Black and Odyssey White. Odyssey Black is Noir Extreme by Tom Ford. So let me show you really quick. And it's called Odyssey. It's called Odyssey Black. It comes in those mugs. I'll place all of these at the end uh, in a community tab. So if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe, hit the notification so you can get the notifications when I put anything on the uh, thing. Uh, more recently, I've been trying to find like steals and deals. Like for example, Layton, a full 4.2. I found it for like 160, 140. Um, there was Pegasus by uh, Parfums de Marley. I think it was like 140 bucks, 130 for the full size. We're not talking about the small ones, guys. Uh, Oriana by Parfums de Marley, $138. That's how I got mine. Those are steals. They're legit steals. So I'll be posting them whenever I see it. Just takes a lot of time, but I will definitely start doing that a little bit. I think it brings a little bit more value. It also helps the channel and all that good stuff. A three for one, you can't beat. Yeah, you can't. That deal is amazing, honestly. I own Gentleman EDT Intense. I like that one a lot, actually. Gnarly Blitz. Three pounds from IP. I appreciate you, man. Do you know something similar to Elborn from CB? Let me see. Elborn. B. Perfume. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I don't really mess with Carner uh, too much. I haven't really dabbled into their house at all. So I'm not I'm not going to know anything that smells like this. But I immediately see some notes that I like. Angelica Honey and Benzoin. Sounds like it's a great fragrance, but sorry, dude. No. Bought that posh from Fragrance World, Sedley. Hope you enjoy it, man. Smelled really nice. I mean, the fact that I could smell myself for like three, four hours, even like moving around, I was benching and I could smell it is a good thing. It's not projection monster. It's not, but neither is Sedley. I mean, I would put it right on par with Sedley's performance. Meh. But so is Sedley. But for a hunt or 180 discounted compared to, you know, 45, it's, it's no comparison. I do got to get some Jusada, apparently. <laughs> I'm not crazy about Mega Mare, the whole DNA. Appreciate you, Black Vegeta. You must be ripped. Hold up. Yeah, with a name like Vegeta. 
What about performance? Dum, dum, dum. I think we're going to go ahead and start wrapping this up, y'all. Appreciate that, Melinda. Thank you. I think it's a good thing. I just don't want to, I, I don't want to be an infomercial. You know what I'm saying? I, that's not the intention or the point. I mean, it is what it is, but I'm going to start because I'm constantly on the hunt and I kind of don't want to promote like this. You have to buy, you have to buy, but you know what? That's besides the point. The point of, of my platform is to share, share information, share reviews, share deals, share opinions, share everything. So it shouldn't be. And that's what we're going to do. God willing. He gets a Caesar cut. I will always greet him with hail Caesar. Caesar cut. I'll get a Caesar cut just for you, bro. <laughs> you guys know how long it is or it takes to, to put this fake hair on. So people quote, it's definitely not fake, y'all. It just takes a long time to like put some cream and do all that shit. And then not only that, but anytime I go to the barber, I tell him, trim it just a little bit. And with curly hair, a little bit means a little bit. But he does a little bit and then it just goes boing. So I like my hair to be down to right there. So God willing, once it grows back, I'm going to keep it that way. But anyway, it is what it is. Hope you guys have an awesome week. And um, 499, God bless you, man. Seriously. Love you, dude. <laughs> 1 million elixir dupe. No 1 million elixir dupe, but El Quintero, if you don't have ornament, I'm disappointed because that's the closest you will get to it. So let me see really quick where I can find you the best deal. We're going to do two things. We're going to look at Amazon and we're also going to look up Google. So ornament. By Afnan. It's $29.90 on Amazon. But then on FragranceNet, it's $25.19. But FragranceNet ships slow AF, and you're going to pay another $5. So it's better to do Amazon. That's another one that I will, after this video, provide a link for as well. So we'll do that. Afnan, a couple of other fragrances that we spoke on today. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this bad boy up. The Creed Aventus Clone War should be posting sometime by the end of this week, maybe around Wednesday or Thursday. Um, you can expect to see the full review of Creed Aventus prior to. I'm going to get to work tonight, and we're going to do it. So hopefully good stuff. Hayati Gold Elixir is not a dupe of 1 million elixir. No, it's not. But anyway. All right, guys, until the next live stream. Love you guys. If I didn't answer your questions, I apologize. But hopefully in the next one, got to get going. Peace out, y'all. Peace. Wait, we already said peace. Love you. <laughs>